A keystone species is any species in an ecosystem whose population and behavior affects every other species. That's certainly what we are as a species right now. In order for us to design an agriculture or a culture that is ecological, then we have to look to our local models, and that's the forest. That is our teacher. Creating a multi-storied ecosystem with mushrooms and berries and fruits and nuts and grazing animals and vegetables all interwoven, this idea of permaculture, we can actually be healing forces. What could it be like if humans can help make this place sing with life? That gets me really fired up because I can just taste the beginning of it. Permaculture is a design process that's applicable in any landscape for any set of objectives. Looking at problems and seeing how they can turn into solutions. Nature's the best thing we got. Like, point to something else that's better. Like, there's nothing that we don't have anything else. And it hasn't only survived. It's, it's thrived. It's found ways to adapt to, to new conditions. An economy that's aligned with permaculture would be an economy in which the best business decision is the same as the best ecological decision. What this is about is whatever species you're working with, plant or animal, like how does it want to thrive? You know, if you give it the right conditions, it just explodes with health. That's the shift of permaculture from agriculture is how we placed in it rather than imposing on top of it. Agriculture comes from agrarian culture. Agrarian means the soil. Culture means the enrichment of it. Agriculture today is the destruction and depletion and extraction of soil. It's closer to mining. Let's now design ecosystems. They're ecologically sound, economically productive, and it's permanent agriculture. We walk away from this place right here, it'll still be producing crops for the next couple thousand years. So all of a sudden humans start doing good and then impact is a great thing. Footprint is something we want to leave.